So I'm Dan from Digico, uh, we're here at the Group Tech 2014 update and we're going to have a little look at this new product from DigiGrid. Um, just to sort of set the scene, DigiGrid is a collaboration between Waves and Digico. Digico make the hardware and of course you know them from the, uh, the digital mixers that we make, the SD series, uh, and Waves, 20 years making plug-in processing for door systems. Now over the last few years we've been using the Waves processing on this SoundGrid network to apply uh, plug-in processing to the consoles. And that was the one criticism of Digico, I suppose, was that um, when Avid came on the scene, uh, engineers got used to applying plugins to their mixes. Um, they come from the studio where they use plugins. So we use this Wave SoundGrid technology, which is network-attached processing, uh, to put the plug-in processing into our consoles. That was all great. And actually we realised there were some other applications that would benefit from this technology. So what this is, what the DigiGrid brand is, is a collaboration bringing that uh, SoundGrid technology to modern door systems. We're talking Pro Tools systems and Logic and Nuendo, all of those types of users being able to take advantage of this processing. Now we've broken it down into uh, a few different types of boxes. Um, Last year we started shipping these, which are the MGBs and MGOs, an optical version of this box. Um, and this allowed engineers to record up to 128 channels of MADI um, onto a computer. I mean, the virtual soundtrack is one of those things that everybody knows. Um, we have customers out doing double MADI recording, so 128 channels at 96K using a pair of these boxes into a laptop. Now, you know, five, ten years ago, if you wanted to do high channel count recording, you needed a truck or you needed a big rack of kit. Well now we're doing it in a shoebox with a couple of boxes. Um, the other use of this is in allowing uh, customers to use the sound group processing to apply plugins to any MADI enabled console. So whether you're a Studer or a Soundcraft or a Lava or an SSR or a Digico, whatever, you still have access to this ultra low latency plug-in processing um, real-time processing for, for uh, MADI based mix platforms. So these have been going well, first round of products out. We are just now launching the next round of products. We have two sets really. There is uh, the DLS and the DLI which are uh, HD interfaces for Pro Tools DSP systems. So if you own a TDM or an HDX rig, we have an interface that talks directly to your AVID system and allows you to take advantage of both the processing we have and the networking capability. Now you can network an HDX system really easily. But not only ne network it to maybe to another system, you could link it to a MADI based system or multiple native systems all at the same time. So that's the DLS and the DLI. And then for the native user, which is really our biggest market, we have the iOS, the iOX and the IOC. Three native interfaces that give you a scalable interface for your native door. So traditionally, if you are a Logic user or a Cubase user, you buy a Moto 828 or whatever it might be from any manufacturer. And when that interface is no longer big enough, you replace it with something else. What we're saying is buy into a system where you buy your one interface, and that may include this SoundGrid server that gives you ultra low latency plugins and real time monitoring and a load of fancy features. But actually, when that interface needs to be expanded, you run a network cable to another interface and your interface just grew. So up to, up to you know, hundreds of inputs and outputs on multiple native systems shared on a single network. It's a really new concept and for facilities that have multiple rooms or a shared live room between, between uh, different control rooms or you know the crossover between live and, and studio is so blurred these days the ability to integrate these live systems across a network with a studio based system actually is pretty unique. So that's the hardware, let's have a look at the software and there's just a couple of tools which uh, enable users to control what's on the network. The heart of the system uh, is the SoundGrid Studio, this is a configuration program that allows you to define the nodes, the devices on the network. Um, we can have up to eight physical I.O. boxes, which you know could be a MADI box with a studio-based box. Um, and we can have eight what we call drivers on the network. So you can have eight laptops potentially sharing these I.O. resources between all of these computers. Which means you could have an HD rig in the studio um, and use a native system as the backup recorder. Or you could have a, a 
an HD system taking MADI from a live system, but at the same time tracking it in, in, a, in a native type of environment. Or you know, a, you're in a big studio, we did this thing at Abbey Road, and what excited them is the ability for a composer to come in with their standard native composition system. And instead of having to print stems um, and then transfer them manually into a larger mix system, they could link these things in real time on the network and audition stuff using the network transport to link them together. So within this SoundGrid studio, we define all these devices and the server that does the processing. And then we have free network patch between them. So this ability to link and share the I.O. And then the server on the system gives us a virtual mixer. Uh, an eight stereo input, eight aux bus, eight stereo outputs, plus a, a master bus. And we can use that either for generating low latency mixes in a native recording environment, or we can use it as just straight network-based processing. You might take the feed from a system and provide some plug-in processing to it, some limiting or some loudness monitoring before delivering it across the network to maybe a webcast or some sort of radio station. So there are, there are lots of applications of it. What we give you are these building blocks to build a larger system out. I think if we turn our attention to the screen, there's a couple of things I just want to show you really. Um, this is a Pro Tools HD system. So we have our setup tab that allows us to define the, the devices on the network. And then within that, there is this patch-based system that allows us to freely patch between the different items. I have my DLS, my Pro Tools box, and I have here, I've got a, a Q-based PC on the same network, which allows users to generate stems, it's what we're doing here, straight out of a Pro Tools HD system, tracking it onto a native Q-based system on a PC. So it really is a flexible way of patching. But taking the networking aside, it allows us to offload the processing. Here we have a single insert in Pro Tools with some plugins on, but instead of processing it on the native uh, DSP cards of, of Pro Tools or the, the, the host computer, we're actually processing this using the SoundGrid server. Um, one insert, a chain of plugins to provide the effect we need, um, all processed externally from the computer. And the normal plugin latency compensation and all of those uh, tools that the engineer relies on to timeline their audio still exist. So whether it be uh, Pro Tools HD system or a native system or logic, this one common sound grid interface gives us processing options as well as the, the, the networking um, to interface multiple machines. So that's a really quick rundown of the, the technology and the, the idea behind it. Um, so as I say, it's DigiGrid, it's network attached interfaces, network attached processing for native systems, for Pro Tools HD systems and for live. So thanks to the guys at Group Tech for 2014 update. Um, I hope to see you again soon.